Woke up in a nightmare. That's lovely. Only slept for a little bit. I mean, luckily, I don't think I need much sleep anyways. Yeah, I'm wakeful. I can be awake for a long time. That's what wakeful means. Oh, yeah. Radio. Ooh. Average temperature twenty two, maximum thirty three. wind be a little bit warmer tomorrow clear skies periodical cloudy spells County two has been issued I got some weather news. Not great news, because it's not going to be raining anytime soon. I should eat before I go. If I drink this bottle of wine, I'll get rid of a decent amount of this hunger. Not a great idea, but it's an idea. Or I could drink this orange soda. But I should keep that just in case I really start running out of water. I should eat half this mac. I'll bring the other half with me. Heckish. Okay. So. What we want to do is make our way basically just due north. I mean, maybe we can stop by this house again and try to get some more sleep. Because at least we know that place is like more or less kind of cleared out. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll make our way there, try to go to sleep again. Should come up on like a dirt or paved road here. Super hard to see in this fog though. It's like hovering like right at freezing too.
Jesus, that's some thick fog. I can't see anything. I am hungry. I'm gonna stop in here. On the floor. Phoenix sweater vest. Varsity jacket. Actually looks like it's got some good insulation and shit. In great condition. Uh, it's actually not any better than what I'm currently wearing. Not tired enough to sleep yet. Hmm. Okay. So, I guess maybe we just eat the rest of this mac. Yeah, eat the rest of this mech. And then we'll come up here. I know it's sort of meta knowledge, but at least we know that one of my old character's bodies is up there. We'll have the key to this truck, as awful as that fucking truck is. And I'll probably run out of gas before we even get it home. We will have a vehicle. Pretty sure I've got a vehicle back there as well. Yeah, I could come up here with a gas can, just unload the gas from this thing, depending on... I should be very careful. I have not been this way in a little while. I have no idea what's lurking over here. Okay. I think there's a road coming up here soon. I'm I'm hesitant to use fast travel right now because I'm pretty sure there uh, could be some zombies up here. I'm not sure about. The fog is so thick, it's hard to tell. So I'm just gonna have to calmly waltz over there. Hopefully we can scrounge up some food in these houses up here. That's that's really what we're starting to be a little lean on. Our car looks like it's in fantastic condition. Probably no key nearby or anything, but a leather jacket. That could be great. Heard what we've got. Insulation better. The wind resistance is worse, but the water resistance is a lot better. I don't know. 
scratch resist is better. Yeah. Hey, fuck it. Let's uh, look at vehicle condition here. I think the fog is beginning to clear up a little bit. Oh, that car is in not very great condition. Gas tank is 8%. Yeah, okay, never mind. Fuck that thing. Alright, let's uh. Smash the window. Get in. And we'll uh. Scoot around. Lollipop. Go ahead and eat that. Have ourselves a little cigarette as we uh, walk this way. Where is any point checking out these? Oh, shit. Checking these things out. I really doubt it. Thing is, I wonder why they're all locked. I would really rather be doing this during the day. Now that I think about it. But you know what? I don't have to kill them. I can just go around them. Fuck it. And make a little detour. Seriously, there's no reason to aggro any of these guys and even risk getting into any sort of risky situation. Like, I could easily, but eh. they're always playing the odds, right? Every time you fight one, you're you're running those numbers. The more often you do it, the more chances you give yourself to being infected. And sometimes it's more beneficial to do that, of course. And sometimes there's like no other way and it's just like one guy and it's fine. Like you can definitely run those numbers, but sometimes it's just pointless. Now, I think my zombified body is in here, in this house, possibly. No, I don't need to open the window. Okay, maybe I do.
Yep, this was definitely my old corpse. I need a box of shotgun shells. Do I really need a double barrel shotgun? No. Am I going to take them anyway, so? Absolutely. Firefighter pants will be fantastic. I don't need the axe. Okay, all that stuff there. The leather gloves I think are gonna be better than the fingerless, fingerless gloves that I have now. military boots what am I wearing right now I think it's just boots are in still they're in fine condition uh, the insulation on these is fantastic though the wind and water resistance is really good yeah I mean the run modifier on my boots is already better but Fuck it, I'm trying to stay warm here. Melted ice cream. Fuck, that's not gonna give me any negative shit besides boredom and unhappiness, which is fine. Like, that's gonna be some of the best food I'm gonna get for a while. Will that go bad? Or is it just gonna melt? Is that it? Like, I can deal with melt. Actually, I'm just gonna carry that with me. Fuck that. Hell yes. Food. We crave sustenance. Get some sleep. <laughs> 